What's up guys, Justin here with TheCGEssentials.com back with another Blender architectural modeling tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna import an image and create a floor plan from that image. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So note that there are a number of different ways to model this out. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the built-in add-on Archipack in order to create our walls. If you don't want to use Archipack, I will link to a video where I talk about several other ways to create walls inside of Blender. And so to start off, what we're going to do is we're going to import an image and bring it into scale. And so I have a more detailed video on this, but in this situation, I'm just going to start by setting a top-down view, and then I'm going to drag my image into our model. So I'm just going to click and drag, and drop this right here. Remember that you need to be in a straight up and down view in order for this to come in properly. Otherwise, this will come in at a weird angle. And so what that's done is that's brought this in here as an empty. Well, now what we wanna do is we want to start by getting this to scale. So I'm gonna delete out my default model. And what I'm gonna do, and you need to make sure that you've enabled the extra objects add-on in order to do this. You can just go up to edit, preferences, and just look for add mesh extra objects. When you do that, when you enable that, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to add in a vertex. So I'm gonna do a shift A and I'm gonna add a mesh and then I wanna look for single vertex and click add single vertex. What that's gonna do is that's gonna add a vertex at my origin point. And you can see how this automatically moved me into edit mode. So what I wanna do is I wanna select that vertex and then I want to extrude this the length of one of my rooms or one of my known lengths. So in this situation, um, you can see how my bedroom is 11 feet wide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tap the E key and you can see how when I extrude this, what this is gonna do is this is gonna allow me to extrude another vertex out. It's basically like drawing a line. And so I'm gonna go ahead and tap the X key in order to lock this to the X axis. And I'm gonna type in 11 feet and hit the enter key. And you can see how my units are currently set to inches. So I'm gonna change this to feet. And then I can change this to 11 feet down in my extrude region and move box. And so what that did is that moved this 11 feet this way. So now we have a reference line that we can use in order to set our image up. So now I'm gonna take my image and I'm gonna move it until the corner right here aligns with the corner of my edge that I drew. And so what that means is that means I can now come in here and I can scale this image up so that it aligns with this line right here. And so one thing you may wanna do is you may wanna change the image pivot point so right now, if I tap the S key, it's gonna scale based on this pivot point that's in the very center. I'm just gonna tap the period key and I wanna set this so that my period, or so that my uh, pivot point is set at the 3D cursor. So what that means is that means if I click on that, now, if I scale this out, it's gonna scale out based on the location of the 3D cursor. So what that means is that means I can use this in order to align this image with that edge. So you can see I'm scaling this in and out. And this is only going to be close. If you want things to be exact, you may need to import like a CAD file or something, but this will get us really close. And so what this has done is this has basically set it so that now our image is scaled so that this section right here is 11 feet long. And so if I was to come in here with the measure tool, just to double check, I could click and drag a measurement in here and you can see how the inside of this room is about 11 feet, which is exactly what we want it to be. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding our walls. So to add our walls in, we wanna use the extension Archipack, which is built into Blender. So we can go into Edit, Preferences, and you wanna check the box for Archipack. Note that I have the pro version of this. You really might wanna consider the pro version because it gives you the ability to add um, like materials and other things like that to both sides of the walls. Um, I'm gonna leave this on the free version right now because I want this to be a video that everyone can use in order to start creating walls inside of Blender. So make sure that you have enabled Archipack and then that's gonna give you the ability to add walls when you do a shift A. So you can see how what I've done is I've done a shift A to add a mesh. Note that I am in object mode. And then I wanna go down to Archipack and I wanna select the option for wall. And so when I do that, that's gonna build a wall 
based on my 3D cursor point right here. And so notice how when I add my wall, there's a few different things I can do with this. So when I first add in this wall, the cool thing about Archipack is it allows you to set things like your wall heights. So in this case, I'm gonna set my wall to 10 feet just by clicking on them and then typing in a value. So you can use this in order to set things like the width, the height, other things like that. So you can see how I can mouse over this and I can set a length. And I can also set the thickness of my wall by clicking over here. So in this situation, my wall is going to be, we'll call it four inches for right now. So I'm just gonna type in a value of 0.33, just for simplicity's sake and hit the enter key. So one thing we need to do here is we need to rotate this wall. So I'm just gonna tap the R key, then tap the Z key to lock it to this axis and type in a value of 90 or negative 90 and hit the enter key. So what that allowed me to do is that allowed me to rotate my wall. Well now I can come in here and start typing in values for lengths. So for example, this one, I want this to have a length of 11 feet. So I'm just gonna type in 11 and hit the enter key. And then once I get to a corner, what I wanna do is I wanna add another segment. So I'm gonna add a segment right here and I can adjust the direction that the wall turns for the new segment. So in this situation, I'm just gonna type in a value of negative 90 and hit the enter key. And so what I wanna do is I wanna start by modeling out the exterior walls inside of my model. So in order to do that, I can just come in here and start adding in the different segments that I need using these tools. And so you can see how what I'm doing is I'm just coming in here and I'm just adding segments and then I'm setting them to the proper length. So it's not exactly rocket science. You just come in here, you add a segment, you set the length and you just keep going. So I'm probably gonna speed this part of the video up um, cause I'm just gonna be coming in here and adding different walls is all that I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna start by creating the outside walls of my apartment. All right, and then for the last wall, what we wanna do is we just wanna click on this then tap the N key in order to bring up the Archipack menu. Make sure you've selected Archipack and we're just gonna um, check this box for close. What that's gonna do is that's gonna extend this wall so that this closes the loop that we've created in here. So what this did is this allowed us to create all of these different wall parts in here as segments. Notice how you can edit each one of these segments to make them straight or curved um, inside of your settings down below. All right, so now let's start adding our interior walls. So adding our interior walls is gonna be similar to adding our exterior walls. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I just wanna do a shift A. I just wanna add a wall. So that'll get our wall piece in here. So one thing you could do is you could click and drag this over, um, but that starts getting a little bit weird and we wanna change a setting first. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna undo that. Then I'm gonna turn my snapping on. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click on this button right here to turn on snapping. And I also wanna set this to snap to vertex. And so when we set this to snap to vertex, what that's gonna allow us to do is that's gonna allow us to select our wall tap the G key, notice how my pivot point was on that corner, and I can move this over and it'll actually snap to this wall point. So what that did is that allowed me to align the corner of this wall with this wall. So we still need to make some changes. So inside of the Archipack menu, we're gonna select this wall. Notice how we get this option right here for part one. So that's segment part one of this wall, right? Well, we're gonna click this little drop down. This allows us to set our start angle of our wall. Well, in this case, our start angle is 90 degrees. Well, I'm just gonna type in a value of negative 90 degrees and hit the enter key. What that did was that aligned my wall with this other wall right here. And so notice how when we select this, we're not getting any of the options to adjust the lengths anymore. So all you need to do in order to get those back, because these are smart objects that this creates, is you just need to click on the button for manipulate. So select this and click on manipulate and that'll bring those back. So now we can come in here and we can keep working with our walls. So in this situation, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set my thickness again to 0.3, so four inches. And I'm gonna start working on my wall. And one thing I wanna do when I do this, we can go ahead and set the height to 10 feet. One thing I wanna do when I do this is I want to make segments in here for 
at least where the other walls intersect in here. You could also do it for your doors if you wanted to. That would give you kind of a, that would give you a snap point if you wanted to use this vertex snapping. In this case, I'm just gonna set it for this wall right here. So we're just gonna click and drag this out and get this kind of close. And we can see how this is gonna be about 15 foot, five inches. So we're gonna do a 15.5. Then we're gonna add a little segment. I'm gonna set this segment to be zero degrees. So I'm gonna type in zero right here. And you can actually set this, um, and we're just gonna set this across so that we get another snap point on this wall right here. So I'm gonna set this to a value of 5.33. Then I'm gonna add another segment over here. And in this situation, this is just gonna have a angle of zero. And we're just gonna drag this across until it intersects with this other wall, just like this. So now we have our dividing wall in here. Well, if you remember what we did is we set this so that there's a point right here and right here. Well, what that means is that means we now have a snap point for the next wall that we add. So we're just gonna do a shift A, add a mesh. We're gonna add a wall. Then we're just gonna do the same thing. Remember that we have our vertex snapping on. So I'm just gonna tap the G key and remove this so that it snaps with this wall right here. And again, notice how we're gonna set our start angle to, we're gonna say 180. Make sure to set your wall thickness to the proper thickness. And then we'll just set our width right here. Set the depth of this space right here. And actually we're gonna want that to be back a little bit. Or maybe not. One of the cool things about this is you can adjust all of these, right? So if I do something wrong, like I did right there, I can just adjust it. So all of these different wall pieces are still active as long as you don't apply this wall modifier that's in here. So this has a custom modifier that creates a wall. Um, but we're just gonna drag this until it intersects with this other wall. We'll call that good. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna add the rest of the walls in really quick. And then we can talk a little bit about starting to add our doors. All right, so we've got half of our walls in. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna call this good for right now. So you would just follow the exact same process over here for your other walls. But now what we wanna do is we wanna add doors in. So in this situation, for example, let's say that we wanted to add our door right here. Well, all we have to do is just do a shift A. In order to do that, go into mesh and then pick a door. So you can see how when we do a shift A to add a door, you can select a kind of door that we have in here. So for this one, we're just gonna select this 80 by 200 and we'll have to resize this a little bit, that's okay. Um, what I wanna do though is I wanna take this door, I'm just gonna move it so it's aligned with this wall. And so notice how at the moment, it's a little bit too thick and there's some editing that needs to happen. So for example, notice how these are all dynamic. So since they're all dynamic, what that means is that means I can adjust them on the fly, either by using the settings in the Archipack menu over here or by adjusting them right here. So you may wanna think about going into wireframe mode if you wanna get a better view of the way this door is going to look. But notice how I can adjust this so that my frame aligns with my wall. Then I can also adjust the depth of my door. So depending on how thick your wall is, your door is going to have a certain thickness, right? So I'm just going to maybe go back to solid mode here for a second. And so now we've got our door in our wall. And so one other cool thing about this is once you've got your door set, so it's inside of my wall, right here, you can actually go into your create functions. You can select your wall and then you can click on the button for create Boolean. And so what that's done is that's basically added a Boolean that cuts a hole for our door frame inside of our model. So you see how it gives us kind of this, uh, this kind of like outline right here. Well, what that's doing is that's using the location of the door in order to cut an opening for your frame. And so the cool thing about this is the hole is wide enough that you can make any changes and it's gonna stay in there. And you can also move it around. So if we go back to our Archipack menu, select manipulate, manipulate like this, 
you can see how you can adjust the door and when you adjust the door the boolean is adjusting with it and so that means the hole is adjusting with it so we can use this in order to adjust our door you can also come in here and adjust the size of the frame as well so we could do like a we'll give it a depth of 0.33 and hit the enter key Notice how that's giving us probably too much depth, but you can adjust this dynamically as you're going until you can get the look that you're going for in here. So you can set the size of your door, all of that stuff inside of this window as well. And so I'm just gonna go through here and add a few more doors. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end the first video. This should give you a pretty good idea of how you can get started adding walls and doors inside your models. I'd love to hear from you guys what you'd like to see next in this series. We can add materials, we can add furniture. There's a lot of different things we could do with this, but I'd love to hear what you think in the comments down below. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.